Hello everybody, we are here on Ultimate Fishing Simulator and I decided that we're probably going to head out to the Japan location since it is the most recent DLC as far as I know. And we'll see if we can catch a few carp and maybe a couple trout. Uh, I do need to earn some money so I can unlock a few different items. I'm trying to get the rod holder for the boat. I feel like that'll be pretty useful as far as I can tell. It is a triple rod holder so that'll be very nice. We can have a couple baits out while we're also fishing with our spinning gear. So yeah, that's going to be pretty sweet. Let's go ahead and head out to the lake. All right, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to jump into one of these boats and head out to the middle of the lake. See if we can find ourselves a little school of fish. Then we'll try to get a couple of them. I think the main goal for today is going to be to get a big carp. I don't know what kind of carp, because I'm not 100% familiar with what species of carp are here. But I do remember seeing carp on the fish list, so we are going to try and get one of those. Ooh, there we go. We finally got something on. Gotta be careful not to break it off now. About time we finally hooked something. I've been at it for quite some time now. But well, we finally got a fish on. I went over to fly fishing because I wasn't having any luck with the carp. There we go, a sockeye salmon. Only a one pounder. So nothing too crazy there, but that is the first fish of the day. We'll go ahead and sell that, even though we don't get much money for it, but let's keep going. I saw a couple nicer sized salmon in here, so I think that's what we're going to try and get. That was a terrible cast too. Looks like we got a bite. There we go. There's a little fish. Looks like that is a sea trout. Let's go. Get this guy reeled in. He's not providing too much resistance, so we can pretty much just pull him straight into us. Now, as you guys can see, I did switch around my methods again and went to some bait fishing. And, oh my gosh, that's actually a rainbow trout. I didn't even know they were here. They were not on the list. Nice. That's nice. $63 for an 8.91 pound rainbow trout. Not too bad at all. Let me check real quick. I'm pretty sure I didn't see them on the list, but... Yeah, they are not here on the Japan DLC list. But I guess we have rainbow trout here, so that's cool. I'm okay with that though. I do enjoy catching some rainbow trout. So let's see if we can get ourselves another one. Looks like we got another trout coming up. This one looks like it's a sea trout though. Or actually, that looks like a brown trout. Maybe. Well, we're about to find out because we have hooked this guy. He's fighting a lot harder than the rainbow trout though. We'll see if we can get him in though. Only out quite a bit of line. Definitely putting up quite a fight. Let's see if we can stop him in his tracks. Okay, there we go. It's exactly what we needed him to do. Now we just gotta make sure he doesn't dart off quick. Or else I'm gonna have to be really quick in loosening the tension of the line. But it looks like he's going to come in with no resistance now. But we must have tired him out pretty quickly. Just get this guy into the boat. Here we go. That's a big trout. That is a big trout. And it is a brown trout. I thought it looked like one. So I guess there's also brown trout here, even though it didn't show them on the list either. But that's not too bad. Decent little fish. 17.67 pounds. I'm going to go ahead and sell that also. Get as much of that money as we can because we want to be able to get the rod holder. That way I can be fishing for multiple species at once. Looks like we have another brown trout coming in. Yeah, it's definitely a brown. Wait for it. And strike. There we go. Another fish on. This one's not fighting nearly as hard, so we can probably just crank it in. Yeah, this one's definitely smaller. Let's just get this guy into the kayak. 
There we go. Five pound brown trout. Nothing too fancy there. Just an average size brown trout. I think I'm going to move locations and see if we can find a spot that's got more fish. Oh, looks like we got something. It's a largemouth bass, actually. I do believe. Some kind of bass, at least. Let's go ahead and get this guy. It's actually fighting pretty hard. Yeah, it's definitely a hard fighting fish. Definitely a hard fighting fish. Especially for a bass. I would never have expected that little bass to fight that hard at the beginning. Definitely a nice one. Jeez. 20.7 pound largemouth bass. That is absolutely huge. That is an absolute giant fish. Wow, look at the size of that guy. And that, that is not scaled correctly at all. <laughs> if this was an actual 20 pound bass, it would be way bigger than this. But still, 20.7 pounds nonetheless. That is crazy, crazy large bass. Jeez, Let's see if we can get ourselves another one like that. We might have another going for our bait, it looks like. Looked like it was heading towards it. Oh, yep. Definitely. There we go. Got another one on. Tighten the drag up so we can just reel it straight in. This is definitely a smaller one. It's not really giving too much resistance. So we'll just rip it in real quickly. And what is that? It looks like it's another bass. It is. It is another largemouth bass. Seven pounds. Not too bad. Go ahead and sell that. Where I live, that would be an absolutely giant largemouth bass because, well, to be honest, Oregon doesn't really have too many good bass fishing areas. I believe the state record is just like 12 pounds, which is considerably smaller than most states. Like we got another. There we go. The bass are coming in like crazy. I've been hooking them left and right. Ooh, this actually looks like it's a sockeye. Yeah, this is a sockeye salmon. We haven't hooked one of these little guys since the first fish we caught. Actually, no, it is a largemouth. I guess the float kind of made it look like there was a sockeye on. Let's go ahead and sell this guy. We're getting a little bit of cash built up, which is nice. We should be able to purchase that rod holder pretty soon. And that's the main reason that I uh, wanted to be keeping all these instead of selling them for the cash. Let's go ahead and make a cast behind us because I do see some other fish. It looks like maybe even a couple snakeheads. I would like to catch a snakehead, so I'm hoping we can do that. Alright, this looks like it'll be a pretty good spot to drop a line, so we're going to see if we can catch one of these fish. There's quite a few spread throughout this area, so it should give us pretty high chances of hooking into something. Looks like we got a rainbow trout going for it. Looks like a decent sized one too. There we go, we got it on. I think I'll leave it on the fish cam this time. Just so we can kind of see how the fight goes. Go ahead and tighten our drag. Yeah, looks like it has already given up. We already tired the fish out. Let's just reel this guy in. Get him in as quickly as we can. I don't think this is nearly as big as the first couple rainbow trout we caught. Yeah, this guy is only 10.4 pounds. I think the last one we caught was around 17 if I remember right. But that's still a good fish for sure. Still a very good fish. So we'll go ahead and sell that, and I think that should give us some enough money to purchase the rod holder. Let's see. Rod pods, and we do have enough, so let's go ahead and buy that. Now we will be able to fish with multiple rods at once, which is going to be very helpful. But I think we'll do that next time. I think this is enough for now. 
But I hope you guys enjoyed. This is the first fishing chan or fishing video that we've put on the channel. So I hope you guys enjoyed that, and I will see you in the next video. If you are new here and you are liking what you see, consider subscribing to the channel and turning notifications on. Also, if you want to help the channel grow, be sure to like the video because this alone can help the video and my channel do better. But that's going to be it for me. Peace, my dudes. I hope you all have a fantastic day.